Hi. Well, here's some information on your 9x20 lathe. This is what mine looks like, anyway. Uh, this is the spindle. And uh, the uh, outer ring that protects the bearing happens to be nothing more than a steel washer with a uh, with a groove cut in the end uh, and when it's packed up with grease I'm sure that acts like a uh, a seal to keep the dust out uh, I made this little fitting to protect the end of the spindle when I hammer things apart <laughs> anyways uh, the bearings both were snug I can't say they were really tight my three pound hammer took care of it I'm gonna run a little 600 grit sandpaper on here to, to clean up the grooves and stuff uh, but it's actually not a big deal to take this thing apart now I haven't taken the outer races out yet I've got a couple of slide hammer bars and I'm gonna hunt up a uh, well a puller that uh, you know with the hooks that goes on the end of the slide hammer uh, and when I get that then I can get the numbers for the outside race uh, I was pleasantly surprised that the uh, the races and the bearing rollers looked fine there was no pitting or anything like that there was definitely uh, some rust and when I had it part way apart before I pumped in a couple of squirts of oil and uh, you know that tended to wash out the rust rusty bits uh, the one race that's on the uh, spindle end has some staining uh, from rust this thing sat in a Florida garage for who knows how many years it uh, wasn't used very much I can tell you that uh, so I'm gonna put these I'm gonna grease these bearings up pretty good and uh, and put them back in so that's about the size of it don't be afraid of your lathe if you think you got issues and pop it apart and uh, and get some fresh grease in there and when you go back together you can uh, try to set uh, the tension on the bearing so you don't have very much movement uh, some some lays not this one in particular give a uh, torque reading so, you know so many pounds on the side of a chuck to see how easy it spins over some of them want it, want it to spin half a revolution something like that my grizzly says nothing about doing anything with the bearings and that's a weakness in the grizzly manual but anyways there you go I thought you might be interested have a good day